I think it's a great testament to him in his feelings and the things that he's said and done that uh, Maude stood by him, thick and thin, no matter what it was. Um, a terrific uh, love story uh, that would make Hollywood proud, I think. Al Frank Baum allowed children to dream. It's something that you did not find much in 19th century American children's literature. You don't find that much in contemporary American children's literature either. He always had children around him. He loved to spend time with children. He said to please a child is a sweet and lovely thing. And I think that really comes through in his writing, that he had a sense of the child's world. This man had a tremendous uh, zest for life, I think, and very creative and very really into his imagination, but able in a unique kind of way to, to materialize and bring it back into a concrete form which is an art. It's just a gift that he had. L. Frank Baum is the man who gave us the Land of Oz. L. Frank Baum gave us Dorothy, the Scarecrow, the Tin Woodman, the Cowardly Lion, Belinda, the Wicked Witch of the West, Toto, the Munchkins. He gave us the Yellow Brick Road, the Emerald City, the Poppy Field. Uh, could there possibly be a more indelible series of, of characters or images than these. That all came out of the imagination of one mind. And if you had to pull one real thing out of all of it, and I think he realized it at the end, when all things are difficult and it seems the darkest, look within, because that's where the answer to your question has always been.